police in Chictawaga just busted a smoke shop, seizing thousands of individually wrapped edibles, drinks, and pills. Police say they also recovered 1,800 packages of marijuana. That drug bust taking place earlier this month at the Green Vision Wellness Shake in Days. That's in a plaza on French Road. But now the Erie County District Attorney is saying what happened at this smoke shop is technically legal. My colleague Ashley Rowe live in Cheektowaga tonight breaking this all down for us. Ashley. The Erie County District Attorney and the business owner's attorney who argues police made an unlawful seizure. What's happening is people are purchasing stickers and then being gifted cannabis in return. It's happening in practices all over the state. But the Chictawaga police chief tells me he won't stand for it. Our society doesn't accept this. This isn't a safe way to sell a drug and, and it's uh, it shouldn't be going on and we're going to try to stop it. Boxes of Trips Ahoy cannabis laced cookies, love savers and 15 pounds of individually wrapped marijuana. Chictawaga police seized all of this on February 4th during a raid of Shaken Day's Green Vision Wellness. And how many bags would you say there were of these? <laughs> Thousands. Thousands of bags. Yeah. The raid happened after police received a tip that the smoke shop was capitalizing on a popular practice across the state, selling customers stickers and then gifting them cannabis products with that sticker purchase. The undercover detective went in, spoke with a salesperson who uh, instructed him on, you know, what different products were available, how much different products cost, and uh, the undercover detective was able to purchase some cannabis products. Chief Brian Gould says the sales clerk wrote down the cannabis product the detective wanted on the back of a sticker, and then when it came time to check out, the clerk behind the glass dropped all that product into a slot labeled gift. So to me, that's a sale. That clerk, 27-year-old Nicholas Hooper of Rochester, was arrested and charged with unlawful sale of cannabis or concentrated cannabis, a violation. If I'm a good defense lawyer, I'm going to walk in a court, obviously, and say, Judge, this isn't a sale. This is a gift. Erie County District Attorney John Flynn will not be prosecuting the sale charge, instead leaving it to a town prosecutor. He says a legal loophole allows for this practice of sticker purchasing and cannabis gifting. It's clearly a scam. There's, there's no doubt in my mind about that, all right? The, the question from uh, my standpoint is, you know, what am I going to do about this? Flynn will be prosecuting the case against Shaken Day's owner, David Zale, who's charged with criminal possession of cannabis and possession of a forged instrument. The latter charge because police say Zale was putting fake prescription labels on packaging to make it look like medical marijuana. How many people were coming in and out of that store while your detectives were in there undercover buying we, marijuana? We, uh, our operation took place uh, around noon on a Friday afternoon. Um, it, the, the, the traffic was just, uh, you know, I'd say within a, a couple hours there were at least 100 people that showed up at this store. Chief Gould believes this loophole is contributing to a public safety risk because the drugs and edibles made in a kitchen in the back of a store are unregulated. He wants to send a message. If you are selling cannabis in, in Chictawaga, we are we're looking for you and we'll be at your store with a search warrant one of these days.